Welcome to the Ultimate Room Setup Episode 2. Episode 1 went extremely well, and the most important thing was that there was a lot of positive and good feedback in the comments, so I had a great idea of what would be best to do to my room to upgrade it to make it the Ultimate Room Setup. And thank you for that feedback, and please continue it and drop a comment if you have any suggestions at all. Of course, this isn't the room we're improving, that's downstairs, but this is the room I'm in right now. The big thing we're going to do today is go to Ikea. I think I'm going to get a TV stand and a shelf, but really anything that catches my eye, I'm going to pick up, and I'll go over what I get once I do go. And then also a quick note, I am filming on the iPhone right now. Last week I filmed on the Canon 70D, which is actually right here, and uh, you can see that this is a huge camera and it was shaky and it just wasn't that enjoyable to film with. So I'm gonna be using an iPhone for this episode and then once Byron, who helps out with the channel, gets back from his Christmas or holiday vacation, he has an RX100 that I can use. So this iPhone quality, if it is bad, it's only just for this episode. But let's go over to Ikea, pick up some stuff, and get started with the Ultimate Room Setup, episode two. Alright, we're off to Ikea. I'm joined by my sister. Hello. And so I know I want a TV stand and a shelf for by the entrance to put all like the everyday items to grab. But I'm also just excited to see all the cool things there and anything that could spice up the room a little bit. So let's do this. Alright, so the Ikea trip was a total success. You can see everything down there and actually a couple things behind me. And I'll go over everything I got in just a second. But there are a lot of things that I'm going to mention, a lot of comments that I want to address. So I'm just going to go one by one and talk about some things. And then I'm going to start building things. And I'm going to do a time lapse this time so you can see me building it and see me improving it. And I think it's going to look really good. Okay, so the first thing we got are, these are two like standing lights. And um, they're going to go on either side of the TV stand, which is going to be right there. And it's also going to help brighten up the room because that light's doing very little. I actually brought down one of my very heavy duty lights that's lightening up the room, but that gets really hot. I think those lights are gonna help distribute the light a little bit. And uh, this big box is the TV unit and it's white. I really like the idea of white furniture. A lot of you put that in the comments below. I think that's a great idea. So I'm gonna go with that. And I'll probably replace the desk eventually with a white desk, but not this time. I'm just focusing on the TV area uh, this episode and then all this stuff down here, this is two of the Ikea dioder sets, which are like the multicolored LEDs. I do want to get, for those two lights I already mentioned, I want to get like Lifix or Philips Hue as well as up there. But again, that is for a later episode and I'd love to get sponsored for that instead of having to pay $70 per light bulb. I got a couple of uh, power outlet strips. Uh, these are leg sets for the TV stand. Uh, this is a... I don't even know what you call this. It's like a support leg for the TV stand. It goes in the middle. These are two temporary bulbs for the light before I get the multicolored ones. And then these are shelves for the TV stand. So before I start building this and doing the time lapse, which hopefully looks very good, I want to address a few things that you guys mentioned in the comments. Okay, first things first, the wall color, I'm not going to change it. I'm only in this room for another six months before I go to college. So it's probably just not worth like painting the entire room again. And uh, so the wall color is going to stay and I kind of like it as well as mounting the TV on the wall. I'm only here for a couple more months. It's probably not worth drilling holes in the wall. And then you did notice that I didn't get a shelf to put my like everyday items like wallet and keys right here. That's because I think the TV stand is going to be big enough where I can just drop them like right on the corner over here. And it's going to be convenient. And then a couple of you in the comments mentioned putting a projector screen here, but I just don't know where the actual projector would go. Cause if like it's right here, you know, my bed's right there. And then there's the couch right here. So I could, I like could mount it to the ceiling, I guess, but that would be drilling holes in the ceiling. And I don't know how practical that is. So I'm thinking just maybe a TV upgrade instead of a projector. We'll see, I'll mess around with that idea a little bit. And then a lot of you commented about this Chelsea flag. I'm not actually that big of a Chelsea fan. I don't really pay attention to soccer. I went to a game when I was in London and it was awesome, but I don't really pay attention that much. The reason it's there is because there is some chipped paint there and if I pull that off, it'll probably chip the paint. So I'm probably gonna replace that with like a different poster at some point, but for now, that is what's covering it up. And then I also mentioned that I am gonna replace the desk eventually, just that's not for this episode. So let's get to building the TV stand and hopefully this is a dope time lapse. Do 
should not be fooled by that super dope time lapse. This was not easy to make. I guess all IKEA furniture just love these little these little just holes in the wood, and then you have to thread it yourself, thread the screw yourself. And of course, I didn't have a power drill, so I was doing it with a screwdriver, and it was a lot of effort involved. Now, because I don't have a power drill, see this support thing? It was supposed to go down in the middle to keep it supported so it doesn't bend in the middle. Like, you can see that desk. Well, I guess you can't see it that well, but that desk bends in the middle. Um, so I don't think it's bending yet, and it probably won't bend with that TV, but if I get a bigger TV, it might, so I may need to install that in the future. Anyway, I'm going to do the lights and connect the dioders, and uh, I guess I'll just time lapse that as well, so we'll see you in a bit. Check it out. It is done. The TV definitely looks out of place with that nice TV stand. So what's going on with the LEDs down there, I'll show you in a second. But with these upper lights, right now, I mean, I, I think they add to the setup, if I can get that wide enough. Um, but I think they're going to look a lot better once I get a Lithix or Philips Hue bulb in there. And I can control the color and hopefully set it to the same color as the LEDs. So then it will just add to that and look a lot better instead of just the like, slightly yellow white color. Um, so that'll be in a future episode. This whole project took way longer than I expected it to. So this is probably all I'm going to do for this episode. And then uh, we'll just do some more for next week. But let me show you what's going on with the LEDs down here. So these are all the IKEA dioders. It's two sets. And I thought I was just going to be able to attach eight to one set, but it specifically says like first thing in the instruction manual, only four can go in a set. So on the top shelf, I have one there and one there, and those are both connected to one on the back of each side as well. So there's one right there, one right there, and then each top shelf, and those are one system, one diode system, because it has four strips. And then on the bottom shelf, I did one on each side to get a little more illumination since it's there's a little more room on the bottom than the top. So the four bottom shelves are also another system. And the controllers are hidden away behind the TV down there. So this one controls the top shelf. So now the top shelf won't be on in the bottom well. And then this one controls the bottom shelf. And the way I got them synced like that is if you just they were in the fade mode, so I set them both to white, and then I pressed the fade mode at the same exact time for each remote, and then they faded at the same rate. Otherwise, it would just be at different rates since they're completely separate systems. But yeah, I mean, that is that concludes this episode. Some of them are falling off of their like where they're attached to, so I'm going to have to figure out, maybe get a stronger adhesive or something. I'll address that in a later episode. And then, of course, I'm going to need to get like, a sound bar with a bigger TV. I don't know, we'll see. But I do think that this works for having all my everyday items because it's right by the door and I don't want to put a shelf like right there or anything. It's right by the door. I can just grab them and go. And I think they actually kind of look nice. And the Xbox is upstairs right now. It will be back down here for next episode, don't worry. But you can just see I'll probably have games there, uh, controllers there, and then Xbox there. And I don't know what I'm gonna put there, but we'll see. I also forgot to mention that you can turn these lights on by stepping on this little pedal right here. And it turns them off, and you step on it, it turns them on. But that's going to be it for this episode. This actually took really long to do, like two or three hours, and I just can't put any more work in. Something I was going to do in this episode that I'm going to save till the next one is the watch table right there. I have a white table upstairs that I'm going to use instead of that long black table, and it's a little bit wider and less long. And I think that's going to look a lot better. Um, especially when I get a white desk, if I do get a white desk. And then one other interesting ha thing happened. The Chelsea flag actually fell down midst making this video. I guess it was just a sign from above. But I brought this down from upstairs. This was an extra patent print I had. And it chipped a little bit more up there. I'm going to have to fill that in with blue, fill that in with blue. But then once I get this mounted up there, I think it'll cover it up pretty well and it won't look bad. 
but for now we'll just stay there. So let me know in the comments below what you think I should do with the room. I focused on the TV setup today and next week I think I might just do some touch-ups there and then go with the watch table and maybe improve the desk area a little bit. Let me know what you want to see in the comments below and let me know if you're enjoying this series. I'm having a lot of fun doing it. It's very interactive and it just involves a lot of doing and it feels good to get stuff done. It's very satisfying. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. Subscribe to see more content, as always. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And as always, stay classy.